Hi, welcome to another video. Uh, before we start, I just want to say that podcast is now on Spotify, so you can check that out in the comments. But you know, let's look at the best meta decks for this week. Chen Jervan is by the stats the best deck for climbing. This thing just popped up kind of like before the open and stuff, but I never thought this is that good, but stats prove me wrong, and like this deck is just doing so well. Something interesting on this deck list is that it's not playing deny. That's something that you may be used to in this, and like, you know, people trying to go with deny against Fist Summer. But this deck just doesn't care about it, and it's only playing like combat tricks. And on stats, and especially like rank 1 and rank 2, and you playing it and doing so amazing with it. It's classic Shen um, you know, just go curve, curve on them, and then end the game with like Jarvan, maybe with the Dad or just Second Protector. This deck. Not hard to play, you know, curve as said, and just win games. But yeah, it's doing amazing good stuff, so I definitely recommend you to try it as well. Second deck, and it's my kind of child, I would say. I kind of popularize it with the Master Good Open win, and that's uh, Kai Zagarin. Uh, this deck is doing so well on stats, and that's kind of surprised me, but I definitely do get why, because I think this deck was very good. Uh, so I play, played myself in my opener when where I made top 8, so. This deck is very good. It's so good at taking so many strategies as well. Like, because there's still not much removal, like, Kaiser can just go crazy sometimes. Uh, I'm playing double deny. You can definitely go on like one deny and double chain vest. But the strategy, if you don't know, is kind of easy. Just go evolve as fast as possible. That helps you usually things like Zaza, Hatchling, and Broadwing because they give you two keywords. As well, Warden gives you also two keywords because Bio is a keyword. Something to keep in mind that Bio's stake as keyword. So it helps. Your Kaiser to level. You try to usually try to, you know, above on curve with Kaiser. Like, sometimes even you can above on turn three. That's not that rare, honestly. It happened kind of often. And then, and just like take them, uh, everybody with like these big stats and just, you know, just over start them. Uh, I like on this deck list, like, I don't play the Champions League version. That's maybe kind of popular. I like the lot of top end with like Genevieve, with like Garen, uh, with Jarvan. You actually, like, have so many times that, like, even if you're Kaiser die, you still can, you know, kill your opponent even after that. And you're not so dependent on, like, Champions deck or you're not so dependent on Kaiser. That's what I maybe like the most on this deck list. So, yeah, definitely worth the try. And let's move on to the next deck. I have to mention it, but I think, like, everybody, like, to vote community agrees that Fist Samurai is the best deck in the game currently. And it's even the deck that I go for when I want to climb now. This is my version. Uh, something that maybe not usual is I have no Gekka Burst and one Parallel. Uh, it's just like, you know, taking for some, something. Sometimes I was also kind of low on ping, so that's why I take for one Parallel. But yeah, otherwise the gameplay is kind of different than it used to be with the Elusives. Now you go mostly on Power Bundle Venom. That's a card that you keep in your mulligan. Don't forget about it. Keep it in mulligan in most of the matchups. Maybe there can be some specific where you don't keep it, but mostly you keep it in mulligan. Because this deck is just about it. You try to get as many plunder procs so you can play monkeys on like turn 5, turn 6, and just kill your opponent with it. Uh, you can still go like on the summer game plan. In some matchups, you go to like his game plan. And yeah, I'm still on one of Inferna. I see some people not being on Inferna at all, but I think one Inferna. I know that some people are even on two, and I don't mind it at all. What I mind personally is the two mana Taskmaster that buffs your one drops with Plunder. I think that card is not good and you shouldn't be playing it. But yeah, uh, if you want to, the best deck, I guess, for climbing, it's this one, definitely. Last deck that's still doing amazing on stats, and especially, I, I guess, Nick would tell you that this is the best one, because yeah, uh, it's the Samurai Jinx. It's something similar to the Draven Jinx that we used to have. But yeah, uh, classic strategy of the Draven Jinx gameplay, as we talked about it last week, not much much change. I think the decklist is maybe even the same. Uh, just go face and hope that Jinx is gonna end it. Summer is amazing tool and, you know, just go wide as possible. Get your vision on as many po units possible. When you're another value, just go for Experimentator. Easy. It's not easy to, to play, but it's not hard to master, I would say. So, you know, definitely something that I do also uh, recommend you to play. In. Did I forget about any deck? If I did, uh, let me know in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. Hopefully enjoying uh, my videos and stuff. So if you do, you can leave a like, you can leave a sub, and see you next week with another meta report. Next time in a turn. So yeah, okay, bye.